Let's check out the Washburn Sona Master Deluxe. Why not? So, what is this? Well, like I said, it's the Washburn Sonomaster Deluxe. It is the deluxe version of this Washburn Sonomaster. Who knew? Aptly named. And much like the Sonomaster, I quite like this iteration. Now, I do kind of miss the shrunk in body and reverse headstock of its predecessor, but for the vibe they were going with here, this does suit it better. So, you know. Ah. I think it's just fine. And fine. Uh, so, we've got a just classic shaped, classic rock monster here. Uh, Humbucker single single, which is definitely my preference when it comes to a guitar of this ilk. Uh, it's just the versatility. You just can't beat it. I mean, I would like to see, given the more modern kind of flair going on on this, a dual humbucker version down the road. So if you're watching this Washburn, yeah, keep that in mind. I know you have the pickups. There's one right there. So uh, I think that could be pretty cool. But uh, this configuration, I think, for the vast majority of people, including myself, it's just great. Just having all of those tonal options. Love it. Now, in terms of the feel of it, like I said, is a more traditional sized body. So for somebody, you know, who's six foot whatever, like me, um, even though I do miss the funky retro vibe, this does actually, oof, out of tune, uh, but this does fit my body better than the smaller version. Um, going to the neck, we've got a very nice matte finish on there. Uh, it doesn't have the baseball bat neck that the original, original Sona Masters had, where it had kind of this, kind of this yellow finish with a skunk stripe on it. Uh, a few years back, they moved to this more streamlined, thinner, and generally faster kind of neck that I think is better suited for the vast majority of people out there. So... Uh, I think that was a good call. Uh, and then fret-wise, oh boy, uh, I'm very happy with that. Um, the frets on a lot of entry-level guitars tend to be really scratchy. These are nicely polished. Uh, they're not quite the mirror finish that I've seen on, say, the uh, Schecter SGRs. I, I think those ones in this kind of price point take the you know first place podium for that. But I, I, this is a close second. I, I'm really happy with how these frets feel. Uh, they really do feel like a quality higher end guitar than what you're paying for here. Uh, yeah, price wise, these things are pretty crazy. Uh, I'm not gonna list the price here because I don't know what year you're watching this in and I don't know what country you live in because uh, you know most of my viewers live in the US or the UK and I live in Canada, so me quoting you a price isn't gonna help. Just, just check with your local dealer, see what these are going for. Uh, and on top of that as well, I would highly recommend if you're gonna look into one of these, you can trust buying it online, right? These feel great, they sound great, all that stuff, but I would highly recommend going to your local dealer because of the finish. What Washburn did here is they threw some maple on the face of these. Not only does it look awesome, they're all a little bit unique. Now, this is the sunburst version here. I've got the transparent black here. I don't know if that'll show up on camera. The transparent black has this really kind of cool effect where up close, you can really see 
that flame, but from a distance, it uh, just kind of looks a like textured dish uh, gloss black. And I like that effect. But I will say, this has a much more pronounced flame than the other one that I've got next to me. So you should, in my opinion, check out your local dealer so you can pick one off the wall because they're all going to look a little bit different, right? Like I said, if you need to order it online, don't worry too much about it. But looks matter, right? I want a guitar that I see it from across the room and just go, yeah, I want to play that. So I would recommend, as I usually do anyway, checking out your local dealer because not only does Washburn uh, supply a lot of smaller stores, they make a really good guitar, so it's kind of win-win for everybody. But yeah, uh, that's the Washburn Sona Master Deluxe. I don't really know what else to say about it other than I'd recommend you give it a try. You don't have to take my word for it. Just get one in your hands, rock out, have a good time. Uh, just solid guitars for a really good price. What more can I ask for? Thank you.